Once you have Autodesk Fusion 360 up and running, we want to do a few things. We want to go to the File pull-down, and we want to save your untitled drawing. The name you save your drawing, we're going to start with Block 1. And I'm going to put 001 in case we get up into the hundreds. The location of our block we want to create a new project. Within the new project, we're going to save this as your uh, course name. If you're in the freshman drafting course, you could save it as freshman drafting, tech nine, uh, whatever, uh, whatever you would like. And then if you're in the project lead the way IED course, you could save it as PLTW, IED, um, IED drafting, design, what have you. I'm going to just save it as my course files and save. So now in the location, I can select my course files. So the name of the file and then the location. Currently there's nothing in there. It'll give you a little bit better organization and save. So here it says block 001, and this is the version 1. Now I can start creating my model. For the PLTW IED drawing that I chose for you, it's the 321 block. If we create our first block and hit Create Sketch, we need to select the plane that we're going to draw in the front, the top, or the right side. The first block is a 3 to one block, and I'm going to draw, uh, since we started our sketch in the front view, I'm going to create on the computer the CAD drawing the sketch also in the front view. I'm going to select the rectangle, and I'm going to start at the origin. I'm going to left click and now I can let go of the left mouse button and drag the specific distance I need. And you can see our snap settings are set for 0.1 for the increments. So I can drag until I reach my one inch high and three inches long. Or I could drop my rectangle, select my sketch dimension, select the left vertical line, left click, and I can change it to one, and I can hit enter. I can also select my bottom line or my top line, drop three, and hit enter. Once I complete the sketch, I hit finish sketch. And now I'm ready to extrude my sketch. If I select extrude, it automatically starts understanding exactly which way that I need to push that plane towards the front or towards the back. The distance I'd like to go, I could simply type in this box 2. Or I could type the distance here, 2, and select Enter. And there's my 321 block, block 001. And I would suggest you do a file, and this time, Save As, and make sure it does, in fact, say block 001 and My Course Files.